walls are impenetrable. Your floor isn't. Well, if death is what you seek, then I will gladly provide it. There is no reason to be hostile, Your Majesty. In fact, you should be proud. Your son is moments away from inheriting the throne. Dale! I tried, Father. What do you want with us? How shall I explain this? I'm gifting your son with my knowledge. It will make him the most powerful ruler your world has ever known. And he will answer to no one but me. No! <laughs> Murderer! Prepare the Snatcher. has befallen our world. For centuries we have depended on the Kingdom Stone, but its strength is feared. It cannot keep up with our growing demand for energy. The Prince of Shriegal, poisoned with madness over the death of his father, has spread machines across the land to steal energy from other kingdoms. Tensions are growing, and I fear that war may be inevitable. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's how you start yourself a video game. With a grisly decapitation and the forced indoctrination of it of the victim's child. Woo! This game... <laughs> this game is adorable, and yet it is dark as hell! Oh my goodness! Hello and welcome to Let's Play Freedom Planet! I am... The Max of You Trades. How you guys doing? Brand new series starting up right here, right now. Uh, Freedom Planet is a game that I've always wanted to play for you guys, but uh, it always kept getting pushed to the sidelines, but no longer. For now, I shall give it the much-needed respect and time that it has, truly deserves. As is, I guess we're just gonna straight up start this game. Alright, so file one, gonna go through adventure mode because this game's got- this game has, uh, actually has a pretty good story attached to it, which is pretty great. Oh, I guess if you're completely unfamiliar with the game, it's uh, it's a 2D platformer in the same vein as uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog games, except a bit more, I guess, intricate. It has uh, like I guess I can get into it as we get into it, but you'll know, you'll see what I mean. All right, so the game has three count them three playable characters. Originally there was gonna be five, but then two, they get the last two got cut. But that's besides the point. Doesn't have to matter. No one cares. We have Lilac, who is basically the main character, and her two friends, Carol and Mila. But all three characters play drastically different than each other in many different ways, and each and every character... Uh, I mean, for the most part, the story plays out the same, but there are noticeable differences in each path and each story you take. So, I'm actually going to be playing through this entire game, its entire story mode, three times. Once as each and every character. For you guys, I'm willing to put in that much effort. So, uh, as this is the first round, we are going to be playing as Lilac, the main character. Seems only fitting, but not before I show off a secret Easter egg. If you cycle around really fast, the characters get either... <laughs> I don't know, they get kind of confused. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, there we go. And they're back to normal. Alright, enough mucking about. Time for Lilac. The moon is friggin' gigantic! It's just dawned on me how many video game adventures start with things crashing into the planet from space. Three days later, in a valley to the east, a completely separate, unrelated spaceship is crashing. Two in the same week, what are the odds? Absolutely not. not a chance. There we go. Woo, chronic hero syndrome. We have it. Your sarcasm is noted. 
and your motorcycle be awesome. Alright, here we go. As you can already tell, you can kind of see the Sonic the Hedgehog based inspirations. However, we've got a few more options available to us. In the top left, you'll actually see our health. It's those red leaves. And the blue above it is like our special meter that lets us do cool things. Each character has their own thing. Okay, first and foremost, her, uh, Lilac's first ability is the Cyclone. Let's just spin around and whip people with your uh, little hair tendrils. Oh, I guess I should point out that Lilac is in fact a dragon. Half a dragon. A water dragon. To be specific. Alright, so uh, I know she doesn't look much like one, but surprise, surprise, this game started development as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game that eventually decided, hey, why not just make our own original property instead and be able to profit off of it? Which was a pretty smart move. So, yeah, Lilac actually went, un went underwent a fair amount of redesign before she came out the way she does. So, uh, but yeah, she is in fact a dragon, and that is awesome. Anyway, she smacks people around with her hair. A purple-haired teenage girl that hits people with their hair. Interesting! That's a coinky dink if there ever what was one. That is a card that's basically stuff like uh, concept art, music files, uh, dialogue, stuff of that general nature. Just secret unlockables. That I apparently somehow missed that one before. Anyway, we got an uppercut, and we've got a dive kick. You can actually combine those two into a sweet combo. So, uh, feel free to do whatever you so choose. Yeah! Fight things the way you want to fight them. And lastly, but not leastly, whatever, you we have the dragon boost. Boom! Let's us fly a little bit. Ugh. Okay. That lovely little device just gave us immortality for a brief moment. And by a brief moment, I mean, like, what feels like possibly a day and a half. I'm not sure if- <laughs> I'm not entirely sure who decided how long the invincibility power-up should last, but it lasts a very long time. Like, oh my goodness. I just- it's like, it's still going. Still invincible. Continuing. Eventually, someday it'll stop. There we go, alright, right in the middle of that. Okay, like, the music loops back to the beginning. And then starts again, but then gets cut off. Like, you, sh you could have shaved, like, I don't know, like, the uh, last six seconds off? I, I feel like that would have still been plenty of invincibility. Oi, okay, ha, pa, 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 pa. Dragon Boost is also a pretty good attack! Now, the thing about the Dragon Boost is, it allows you to get up to areas you ordinarily would not be able to, and you also ricochet all over the dang place, and you bounce around like a pinball. It's important to actually master this technique so you can actually, you know, get the trajectory of your abilities and whatnot right. The game never explains to you what those orb thingies are that you find in treasure chests. Fun fact, they let you play a bonus minigame, but only if you find another object that they don't explain what it is. It's like a yin-yang symbol. It's not even a bonus game, you get to throw dice and you get a power-up or something. Anyway, ah, uh, so... It's kind of weird that the game never bothers to tell you any of that, but hey, what are you gonna do? The blue crystals collect the amount you see, and you get an extra life. Pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory! Here we go. Gonna kill all of these evil machines. Push this giant block. It's a good thing it's got arrows on it, otherwise I wouldn't know what to do with this thing. Eh, there we go. Pressure plates technology. Pretty much available in just about... Any conceivable video game ever, really. Doesn't matter how uncivilized a civilization you have on that you have for your setting. Ultimately, you're always whoa, going to have pressure plates. Anyway, now I've got a shield. What each shield does? Even I'm not entirely certain. I know that there's a shield that prevents you from getting hurt by fire. One that prevents you from getting hurt by spikes. And I think there's one for electricity as well. But I'm not sure what this cherry blossom like shield does, exactly. Oh yeah, and there's another one that like pulls in crystals and stuff. Anyway, mini boss! Cyclone! Yeah! I've got no time for you! Okay! There we go. Almost got him. Almost got him, Mr. Snakey Man. There we go. And then... Shadowkin! Yeah, you better run! You better run. You don't know what you're dealing with right here, Mr. Man. Whoa! Okay, I guess we're going this way now. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Let's see here. We've got a dragonfly. I guess that's a robot. It's a very convincing robot. You know you got some, uh... Okay, actually, hang on. That looks like there might be something up there. 
I've never actually spent a lot of time exploring the levels. Mostly just, uh, you know, playing the game at my leisure, bumping into stuff as I so chose. And yes, I was correct. There is a card up there, and I wish to have it. And you will not deprive me of this! Yeah. There we go. Fantastic! I've managed to collect a... There, there are ten cards in each level. So that's pretty good to know. Also, Lilac has the ability to defy gravity, basically. Able to <laughs> climb steep cliffs at a leisurely stroll. Uh, it's not Sonic 06 levels of, of, of silly gravity-defying nonsense, but it's still pretty silly. Either way, hello. Alright, just for the record, you can swim, you get an air meter and whatnot. You can also still attack down here, so that's pretty great. Whoa, okay, not sure how I did that. That was cool. Fun fact, one of the attributes that's less advertised than Lilac's other abilities is the fact that as a half-water dragon, she actually sur can survive underwater longer than the other playable characters, which I think is actually pretty awesome. Like, that's some crazy attention to detail you got yourself there. Booyah! Out of the way. Anything worth having over yonder? Or perhaps this is the correct way to go and I am merely a fool. Eh, there we go. I have no time for your weird, oddly convenient log placements. Or do I wish to go down there? Wait till we can't find anywhere else. I don't know why, but every time I'm in a waterfall in a video game, I immediately think of Mario 2. Remember how you like to have to, like, ride the, um... Oh, there's Snake Man back. You have to ride the logs up and down the waterfalls in Mario 2. That's something I've never been able to forget. This game especially, I guess because, you know, it's a, a 2D platform. That's a card I've already got. Because it's a 2D platformer, I guess it just kind of... It rings a little bit more true than I'm used to! Oh! Alright. Aren't you just a... Ugh, curious little creature. Eh. Okay, if you could. Killing this thing is entirely unnecessary! I just don't think I've ever actually bothered until now. So, there you go. Anyway, eh, collect those, get more health. It might seem like you have a preposterously large amount of hits, but um, that's just because we're at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Eventually, enemies start attacking faster and a whole lot harder, and it uh, it really becomes quite the predicament. So, uh, watch yourself. Also, free life, yay! Okay. I'm going to try and lose as few lives as I possibly can. However, I'm no expert speedrunning guy, so I I don't know this I know this game pretty well. Okay, like this boulder, for example. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Oh wait, no, there's a second one. Well, I'm sure. Okay, yo, yo. Okay, I'm sure there isn't just a third boulder. That'd just be silly. I mean, where would it even go? Okay. <laughs> You cannot escape running from the boulder. The boulder knows where you live, and it can teleport. And just as fast as this gigantic boulder appears, it also disappears. And I'm not entirely certain where it goes. I guess it bumps up into that. Huh. Well, how about that? Anyway, it's raining boulders! Hallelujah! It's raining boulders. Oh, hello. And you wish for another beating, do you? Very well. I shall gladly smack it you up. Much like that. All right, now do your best to avoid the falling boulders. Ah, doing what I did was actually pretty stupid, but I did it anyway because it looked awesome. <laughs> there we go. I mean, if you have an opportunity to run around on top of the, you know, the roof, you take that opportunity. That's just what you do. And ta-da! That is one dead spider robot thingy. A uh, spider snake thingy. Whatever. Yeah. Point is, we saved the day. As far as we know. Good enough. Onwards. How many chasers are left? Tell me. You didn't say please. Snap. Don't play games with me, duckling. Tell me. But I'm so good at games. Well, I'm not good. That, that, that's, that's unnecessary boasting. I'm better at games than I am most things in life. Fine, be that way. Yeah, where's that blasted snake mount? I blew that thing up. See? I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. I can do this all day. And I'm pretty sure you would, if it weren't for a water dragon. What is this hideous creature? Okay, firstly, rude. Oh, no. Duckman comes with me. 
I say thee nay! I'm not gonna let you eat him! <laughs> it's 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 when the music cuts off. That's that's always funny. What the Later! <laughs> Too easy. Yeah! Don't even bother looking for a body. I'm sure they're perfectly incinerated with your one missile. That's how missiles work, right? Whoa, that was a close one. Thank you, Miss, um... Uh... Purple Dragon Lady? Lilac. Oh, that works too. Miss Lilac. Are you okay? I saw a huge explosion back there. Oh, yeah, that was me. It's pretty sweet, though, huh? You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? Duh. It's almost like it's a best friend connection here. I take it you know this guy. Girl. Nah, that's not cool. This girl. Why you gotta sound so confused about it? She's like my tail. Always right behind me. Carol the Wildcat, at your service. And this bug. But I'm bump. Well, I'm Tork. I'm a shell duck. A shell duck? Shell duck? That sounds like a Pokemon. It's more of a nickname. I'm not exactly from around here. I mean, technically, I guess we all kind of look like Pokemon, but yeah, y you know what I mean. Suddenly, at Lilac's treehouse, they arrive. So what are you doing out here? The skies haven't been safe for days. Someone is about to steal the Kingdom Stone, and I have to stop them. The Kingdom Stone? That's impossible. Mm-hmm. Ancient relic of untold power? Those never get stolen. Yeah, only I could steal it. You wish. Well, it's already happening. Marizawa's sending troops in disguise to the ancient temple. I have to warn them. Carol and I are pretty fast. We could run over there for you. It's true. They are fast. Seriously? Yup, I've got a motorcycle and she's a dragon. They're like super fast. Turn straight. But oh. Uh, it's worth a shot. Hurry over there before it's too late. It's a good thing I know ahead of time that you're on the up and up and a perfectly good guy. Otherwise, you know, most sane people would probably try and ask questions or be a little bit more inquisitive about these claims. See, like, stuff like that? That's suspicious. Right. Come on, Carol. Onwards! 